Yo yo, we are back in After Effects and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this cutout transition inside of After Effects. It's pretty easy to do and it looks so cool so I'm gonna show you how to do this. So in After Effects, you can see I have these two clips from EVK video which I just grabbed. So we're gonna make that in here. So let's just go into our second clip which we are like transition into and just like duplicate it and right click on the duplication, go over to time and just set it to freeze frame and it will turn into like this still frame right here but anyways to make that transition just slide it in into your another clip as you can see into my pause clip and you can just trim the axis right there and now to cut out your subject you can use like rotor brush because i saw a lot of people using rotor brush as well but i like to use like pen tool if you hit like what is the shortcut g g in the keyboard you will get this like pen tool right here and you can just start like masking out your subject basically if you ever use photoshop it is really similar or even in like what you can say like the premiere pro yeah just like go around your subject and just make a simple selection right there you can just click to add points the one and it will like make a cutout of your subject instantly as you can see so that's a really like a basic freeze frame transition right there but we're gonna try spice it up for sure you can even like make it a little so slower so something like this but in my scene you can see this uh different characters so we have one guy right here we have one guy right here and we have one guy right here so we will max out all of those so let's just duplicate this um m to bring up the marks and just delete the marks from it and just make a new marks onto another subject so i'm gonna start off from this guy right here so you can see simply like this nothing too complicated the marks doesn't have to be perfect because it will be uh, like really fast of a transition so no one will notice really oh, something like that so yeah you can see i have uh, another subject selected out as well it is not perfect by any means but it looks cool and another thing i like to do is like trim the one frame so my main character pops in at first and my second character pops in after like that and you can duplicate this as well delete the marks and just like trim the first frame and just and do the same thing with your another character so grab a pen tool and start masking you can see like that i have another subject selected out now they pop in like that then i'm gonna copy one more time because i have four subjects so there will be four freeze frames and just delete the marks from it and just marks out this guy right here now oh, something simply like that and like this so it is pretty right easy right here so if I play through now, you can see our character pops in like there. And now you can see we have this simple like freeze frame transition. But we are not done yet. We have to add that glow that we are talking about. So for the glow, actually, you can use any type of glow, really. But the one that I like to use is Optical Glow. It is from Redzine. If you don't already know, it is from like Redzine VFX Suite, which is a plugin. So you have to have that plugin to use like Optical Glow if I show you. VFX Optical Glow. But if you don't have Optical Glow, don't worry. You can use like the def default glow and like lower down the threshold lower down bring up the radius and just like mess with the intensity to get that look but it doesn't look that good as the optical glow but you can even like duplicate these and play with like the things to get it to your liking but i like to use the optical glow as i said optical glow right here and just bring up the size and the intensity then you can go to alpha channel and just set it to extended almost and you can see this clean glow right here here going on you can even use like deep glow if you have but i like to use like optical glow i think it just looks a bit more better hit the stop pause on the amount now and you can go a bit further and just set it to zero so at the first it's like glows and just like goes into the normal clip you can actually make it a little smoother by like easy using those clear keyframes and go into graph and just make a simple graph like this don't make it like too tight but something like this would work so you can see that looks really hard right there 
and one thing you can also do is add like an exposure uh, exposure right here and put it before like your optical glow and hit the stopwatch in it and just put it a little further and just like bring up the exposure you can see it gives the more glow that we want looks really hard right there and for the other cutouts i think we're gonna do like two frames gap so let's just trim one more frame one more frame from here and three more frames from here so it like comes in like two frame gaps like that and now you can just copy the exposure and the optical grower on all of these so something like that and you can see we have this like simple glow transition already going on but as you might already notice it doesn't look that smooth what i notice people use is a sick on like the cutouts but it is not like really necessary it looks cool but it is not like super necessary you can use a sick on it like in your cutout turn on the motion blur and bring it up to 11 and hit the stopwatch at amplitude and put it a little further and just set it to zero easy is those keyframes go into graph and just make a simple graph like this right here so it has a little shake as you can see as it comes in gives it that energy but it is like not really necessary if you like it you can just play around with like x and y sake to get it to your liking uh let's just lower down the y sake so it like goes like that as you can see looks real smooth right there and you can just bring up the frequency to fifth as you can see that looks hard right there so you can copy this sake actually on all of those other layer here here and here as well so you can see we have this like dope like those glows with the sake looks really hard right there you can even bring up the glow more or the exposure so something like that at the beginning on your like first cutout on your like first cutout then we are almost done as you can see but you can see we have the transition but as it transition into the original clip it doesn't look that smooth so to blend it in it's, you can use like different methods but i like to use my but i like to use a subtle shake in it so for that i like to use my own shake pack if you have other like preset made for you you can use that but i like to use my own and if you want to download that shake pack i'll link it in the description but let's just create a new adjustment layer right here and just trim it to our second layer's clip size duration and just open up my fx and preset real quick and go to animation preset go to user preset and in shake pack i'm just gonna use the sd one and in the best one i'm gonna use the best one right here then you can just line up the keyframe right here then now we have played through you can see as it transition we have a bit of impact in it looks really hard right there like transition it has something and looks really cool you can even go a little crazy by adding like an optical glow in it on um, just to match the transition but it can crash according to your pre so just make sure it doesn't crash but i'm just gonna add an optical glow right here and you can see that looks hard right there right there so as you can see that sake adds a lot of energy right there that we want so if you want to download this sake pack i'll link it in the description i'm telling you all it's completely dope and it's one of the best pack like sake pack out right now so i'll link it in the description it's on my website you'll get a lot of like cool sake for your music video you can use it anytime freely so yeah i'll link it in the description but anyways our final effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this we are dropping these type of sauce consistently so subscribe to stay locked in you can also join my discord server do all that good stuff and i'ma see you on my next video peace